So I suppose the first thing to say is there is a, a really widespread and widely replicated finding that autistic girls and women are more likely than autistic boys and men to f- fly under the diagnostic radar. So, for example, when autistic girls are diagnosed, it tends to be later on average than boys. And we also know that autistic girls are more likely to be missed because we see disproportionately high number of women in adult autism assessment services than men, Mm -hmm. with the implication, perhaps, that they're particularly likely to be in this kind of lost generation of autistic adults. So people have been trying to understand this, to work out why this is happening, largely so they can sort of try and put it right and and address this gender imbalance or Mm -hmm. inequality here. And the idea that people have really pursued is that there's basically consistent differences in how autism presents in girls compared to boys and women compared to men. And that this more female typical presentation might not fit our current conceptualizations of autism, which after all are largely based on male cases. 